Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This isn't the video I had planned for this week but I want to wait another week to post the video that was going to be posted this week so that's going to be up next Saturday and I thought I would start thinking about autumn. Now I'm not about to go full on autumn on you because it is still August but as we're getting into that kind of transitional weather where some days are like summer and some days are like autumn I thought I'd show you realistically what I'm going to be wearing as we go into September so don't get me wrong I will still be wearing my pinks my lilacs all my colorful clothes but in this video I'm going to show you more like the neutral tones because that is more what I'll be wearing as we go into September so some of these outfits you can still make quite summery some of them are more autumn but I just thought I'd show you in the UK what I will be wearing as we are going slowly into autumn starting with this jumper now this is very autumn in my opinion like I'm not well I say I'm not going to wear this at the moment I did actually wear this in August but it was quite a chilly evening so I'll just stand up and show you it so it's like kind of a cropped jumper like it's not fully cropped but it's also not full length but this kind of thing like screams autumn to me because it's knitwear I'm also not going to try absolutely everything on but I will try some stuff on to show you but yeah I feel like I'll wear stuff like this a lot more when it is actually getting quite a bit colder like more towards the end of September going into October but seeing as I have actually worn it, I thought I'd include it. So one of my favourite things about this kind of weather is jackets. So I don't like it when you've got to like put on this big puffer coat, zip it all the way up and it's like actually winter. But when it's like this and you can put a nice jacket on and like it kind of matches your outfit and makes your outfit, I really like that. So I thought I'd show you a couple jackets that I'll be wearing more in September time. So throughout summer I've had like this blue racer jacket I've been wearing a lot because that it's just more colourful, like it just is more summery than these ones. But as we're going into September, I think I'll be bringing out this jacket a lot more. So this is the Motel Cavita jacket. I think it's part of the, like one of the first Olivia Neal collections. So I have had this a little while now, but I just wear this so much more in autumn than I do in summer. But it's just such a good jacket for this time of year because it's not like too heavy or anything either and my new favorite one is this one from sisters and seekers so it's this like it's vegan leather but it's like a leather look jacket it's got the sisters and seekers logo there and i just love it. i've been wearing it a lot already but i really need to wait until it's actually getting a bit colder but this is what it looks like i got this um in a size bigger than i thought i would so this is small medium and i like how it fits on me and i'm usually a size four to six but i wanted it to be like fairly oversized and the kavita jacket is in extra small and that one fits me good as well so those two jackets i have well started wearing them already we are at the end of august now so some days are getting chillier especially in the evenings especially with the skirts i like wearing jackets like that at the moment i'm still trying to wear skirts as much as i can really because i do love wearing skirts and you can't wear them as easily in winter like i will still try wear them with tights when it is a bit colder but it's just not the same vibe now still kind of on the theme of jackets i would say blazers are something i'm trying to wear more kind of starting from now because i've got a few in my wardrobe that i've just never worn so i'm trying to wear them and i think i will wear them more in autumn but i have started styling them now so this one from monkey it's like this nude pinstripe one i feel like this is the more like summery one of the blazers i do have so i've started to wear this one it's literally still got the label in and i did wear it with the label in out so i need to take the label off but I've started wearing this one. I think I wore it with jeans. I wore it mainly out to go get pictures, but I did like it with jeans and it would go nice with skirts as well. But I've got two more upstairs, which are a little bit more autumn, winter. But yeah, I think they look so cute with skirts or jeans and I don't know why I've not been wearing them. Moving on to skirts. So I don't actually own many at the moment, but I feel like a maxi skirt is really good for this time of year because you can wear it with anything. You can wear it with a little crop top if it is quite hot or you can wear it with a jumper if it's a bit more chilly. So I have got this one from Mika's. 
it's got this little knot detail and a slit up the side so I feel like I need to start wearing this a bit more at the moment even with like this jumper and the maxi skirt like it's just a bit more cooler than wearing jeans if it is still a little bit warm so I think getting yourself probably a black maxi skirt for this like transitional period would be really good and then in terms of mini skirts obviously if it is like still hot which it probably will be some days in September and at the end of August right now I would still be wearing them with like my summery tops and my summery outfits this one is from Urban Outfitters um but as it starts to get a little bit colder wearing it with a long sleeve top like a jumper like this or just any kind of long sleeve top I think is so cute I will do more like autumn videos in the future and like actually style these properly and with more like autumn tops and things but I feel like this colour as well is really good for this time of year. This is the Sydney skirt from Urban Outfitters and I have actually now got it in three different colours because I love it so much but this one I thought was like the best kind of colour for like this time of year. So this is the kind of vibe I mean for September because like you've still got your legs out but if it is a bit chilly you've got this for warmth. I do really like these kind of outfits like I actually love the transitional period because you can still wear your summery things and then just add other layers to make them a bit warmer. I don't think I've mentioned actually where this jumper is actually from. So this is from Tiger Mist but I got it on Vinted for only £5. And then still on the same kind of vibe, I thought a good example would be this little, it's actually a skirt, it's a mini skirt from Bone Tea. It's like quite casual, again it's grey, it's not like screaming summer. And then obviously you can just wear like a crop top with it, like any summery top. But then if it was that bit chillier, like as we're going into September, you, this might be a bit too warm for now, but if you chuck a hoodie on with it, so I really like this one from White Fox. I've got a couple and they're my favourite hoodies. But pairing like this grey, if I can actually show you, <laughs> this grey on grey together, like the skirt and the hoodie, I think that's such a cute outfit and it'll look like a little cord, but it's so good for... If it like, it's one of the, you know the days where like you'll wake up and it'll be freezing and then it gets hot and you just need options. So wear your little summery top underneath your hoodie, but have your hoodie there as a backup. I'm literally now surrounded by clothes, but moving on to basics, I just picked up a couple of basics I think I'll be reaching for like at the moment. So I've already been wearing this to death, but I know I will continue to wear it to death is this little just basic tank top from weekday it's the softest and best fitting tank top i have what racer back top kind of vibe i think it was like 10 pounds i got it on asos but it is from weekday and stuff like this you can just wear it with anything mini skirt maxi skirt jeans like it's just such a good basic and then you can layer it you can wear like sleeves with it so I think stuff like this is so important to have. And then this next top is from Zara and it's something I've not worn too much yet but I'm kind of waiting for the right kind of weather to wear it. So it's this little black top but the back is all open and then you tie it at the back and it's quite high neck and the high neck does give me autumn vibes so I feel like I'll wear this a lot more in September, maybe October time rather than now because it's like not that summery next kind of sticking on this like jumper vibe i have a couple of like cropped jumpers that i wear loads in autumn so i feel like i will start to wear them now or more in september so i just got this stradivarius one as an example so this is my favorite one actually i've got like a green one like a khaki one as well but i get so much more wear out of this one so I think I would love to wear this with a little skirt like that's the kind of vibe I'm waiting to get to as we go into September. I'll show you what it looks like with this skirt because it actually would go really nicely. If we could just ignore all of this on the sofa. Now I'm aware this is quite autumnal for right now because I am posting this at the end of August but this is the type of thing I'm going to be wearing like this kind of outfit would be my go-to in September because we've got to remember September is still quite warm and this has still got like quite a bit of skin out it's just got that little extra of warmth because it's got sleeves. I also love to wear a little crop shirt under these kind of jumpers and have the collar coming out. I'm going to quickly show you a few more things that I will be wearing but I am going to do more in-depth like transitional weather or autumn clothes videos 
but I'm just aware that at the moment the weather is changing so much so I just wanted to kind of show realistically as it is starting to get colder what I'm going to be wearing. So I have still worn this kind of thing during summer to be fair but it does give me more transitional weather autumn vibes but these kind of I don't even know what to call these like shrug sleeves really cropped jumper I don't know this one's from Stradivarius I wore this to death last year and if you've got just like a little top on in jeans or something and you chuck this on it just looks a bit more autumnal and does have a little bit more warmth I mean it is full of holes but I'm saying it gives a little bit more warmth this one's from Urban this black one I got recently so I've not worn it much yet but that one especially I'll wear more when it does get colder because like the black and brown colours I go more towards them as we do get into September rather than in the summer. And with those kind of little shrug tops, I love these little bralettes from Shadavarius. I've got a couple colours of these now and they go so well with them. Like these two actually go together, like they match. So I think that's really cute. Next in terms of more like dressy tops, I picked up a few that I know I'll be reaching for more at this time of year. So there's this black one from Motel. I have had this top before in a bigger size, but I got the smaller size and I love it so much more now it actually fits. So just because it's black is why I'll wear it more at this time of year. But um, I love the little bra detail. It's still summery. You can still make it summery, but just the colour of it for me really. And then this Zara top is one of my absolute favourites. I've not done the buttons up, so I'm sorry about that, but it's this little like shirt corset top. So I just love it. It's pinstripe as well. And this colour is like, <laughs> my next top is the same colour. The top I, the top, the colour I go to um, like September, October. Absolutely love it. And you can wear it with a skirt if it's warm, jeans if it's cold. So yeah, the next top is pretty much the same colour. It's this little one from Motel. It's like asymmetric. This ties like here and like just drapes down and then there's this like ruching bit at the front. So it kind of like is high neck and then has a bit going around. It's over on my Instagram if you want to go see what it looks like on. And then I almost didn't pick this up for this video but how could I forget the Skims Sculpt and Bodysuit is my go-to for autumn September October time especially because it is still tiny but I've got this in a size I think it's still the old size and so extra extra small to extra small but it just makes any outfit look so good because it just fits so well and I thought I'd just finish on some trousers jeans so in summer if I'm wearing jeans I do tend to go for the more light wash colour these are from Bershka so I do still wear that colour throughout, like even in like actual winter, but I will start to wear black jeans more as it starts to get colder because I don't really wear black jeans much in summer. I don't know why, I've just got this thing where it's like, well, you have to wear blue or light blue jeans. So these ones from Motel are my favourite black jeans. They're low rise, they're the low rise parallel jeans and they're the ones that are called like extra baggy or extra wide or something and they fit really well they are a little bit big but they are the smallest size they do but they're okay to wear like they're not way too big but it's a tiny bit annoying but I love them either way so I have started to wear these a little bit more already and probably my most autumnal pair of trousers are my brown parachute pants I literally live in these like just seeing these colours together like this jumper with these is making me so excited for autumn because I'm trying not to get too autumnal too early I know this video has been quite autumnal but it's all stuff that you can like kind of style either way you can style it to be more summery or style it to be more autumnal but I'm gonna start bringing these back out soon so I'm going to end it there for now. I will, as I said, have more videos like this come in when we can actually start getting properly autumnal. But I just wanted to kind of 
put some I guess tips like styling tips out there for this time of year because it can be quite confusing like there's people out there in knit jumpers or there's people out there in little denim shorts like you just don't really know what to wear but pretty much as you can see I basically will start to go from my colourful mini skirts and tiny crop tops wardrobe to my more neutral tones and start getting like parachute pants back out. I am actually really excited to start getting more autumnal but I know there's a few more days I'll still be able to wear my summery dresses and my pink outfits throughout the last few days of August and September. It's just depending on the weather, but I hope this helped if you are struggling to know what to wear, especially going into September, because I'm confused at the weather, so I don't know about you. I'll leave my Instagram and TikTok down below as always. I will also try link some of the stuff if I can find it. A lot of it is from last year, but hopefully they will still have it on their website. My next video should be recreating Pinterest outfits and I really liked filming it. It's kind of a similar vibe to this, like there's some autumnal outfits and some which are still a little bit summer -y. I can also now mention we are getting another puppy, so there is going to be puppy vlogs coming soon, hopefully, if all goes well, um, so stay tuned for that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.